Today we're going to discuss what is perhaps the most unique and incredible metal rich deposit to have ever been discovered in the world. In the remote deserts of South Australia, where the heat scorches the earth and the land stretches into an endless horizon, lies a secret hidden beneath the red sands. A treasure forged by the most powerful forces of nature over billions of years. This is Olympic Dam, one of the world's most significant and unique mineral deposits. A geological marvel that holds immense quantities of copper, uranium, gold and silver. Olympic Dam isn't just a source of wealth for modern industries, it is an indication of Earth's dramatic ancient history, an untold story carved deep into the crust. And in this video we're going to do a deep dive into this fascinating mineral deposit. When we peer into the origins of Olympic Dam, we find an incredibly complex geological formation with few parallels on our planet. To understand how this deposit came to be, we must travel back through time, imagining the tectonic plates shifting, volcanic eruptions spewing molten rock, and hydrothermal fluids silently sculpting this remarkable site that's hidden beneath the surface. The Olympic Dam's story begins with the Gaula Craton, one of the oldest and most resilient pieces of the Earth's crust, holding memories of ancient geological processes that date back more than 2 billion years. The craton itself is like a relic of Earth's formative years, composed of igneous and metamorphic rocks that have weathered countless tectonic episodes. For millions of years the Gaula Craton has been silently enduring, a steady foundation, fractured and reshaped by the incredible forces of geology that would eventually give birth to the Olympic Dam. Imagine the Earth in the Mesoproterozoic Era, about 1.6 billion years ago, a planet in turmoil, with tectonic plates shifting and massive volcanic eruptions altering the landscape. During this period, the Gaula Craton was far from dormant. The ground beneath South Australia was a cauldron of molten rock, its surface rupturing in violent volcanic outbursts, with some eruptions reaching supervolcanic in their scale. These were the Gaula Range Volcanics, part of the broader tectonic processes that tore the crust apart, stretching it thin and making way for the spectacular formation of Olympic Dam. The Gaula Range Volcanics were more than just another volcanic event, they were a primal force shaping South Australia's landscape. Beneath the surface, mantle-derived magmas, molten rock from deep within the earth, rushed to fill the cracks and weaknesses created by tectonic rifting. Above ground, lava flows and volcanic ash blanketed the land, but deep below, something much more remarkable was happening. As the magmas cooled beneath the surface, they solidified into massive plutonic bodies of granite the foundation stones of what would become the Olympic Dam deposit. This immense magmatic event, known as the Hiltabar Suite, set into motion a slow, almost imperceptible process that would unfold over millennia. Magma cooled into granite, and during this process hydrothermal fluids, hot metal-rich waters, began to course through fractures and cracks in the crust. These fluids were the hidden artisans of the Olympic Dam, dissolving metals from the surrounding rocks and concentrating them in specific zones. The interaction between these magmas and the Earth's crust created a magical recipe for mineral wealth. Over time, the metals carried by these fluids, like copper, uranium, gold and silver, were slowly deposited into the cracks and voids of the Breccia complex, forming one of the most valuable mineral deposits in the world. Imagine deep beneath the Earth's surface, where the rocks have been shattered and fractured by tectonic forces. This broken rock, known as Breccia, became the canvas for hydrothermal fluids to work their magic. The breccia is a chaotic mix of broken mineral fragments cemented together by finer materials, a geological collage created by ancient earthquakes and volcanic activity. It is in these fractured rocks where the most important work was done. The Olympic Dam breccia complex is vast, stretching across kilometres beneath the surface. As the Earth's tectonic forces pulled the Gaula Craton apart, the fractures in the breccia became passageways for hydrothermal fluids, which flowed through them like ancient rivers carrying with them the dissolved riches of the earth. Over time, as these fluids cooled and the pressure changed, the metals began to crystallise, clinging to the rocks and concentrating in the breccia complex. Here, beneath the parched desert, copper, uranium, gold and silver were slowly locked into place, creating one of the most awe-inspiring deposits of wealth on the planet. But the Olympic Dam deposit wasn't just shaped by volcanic and magmatic activity. Above this brewing cauldron of metals lay a vast sedimentary basin, a quiet and often overlooked part of the story, but one that was crucial to the formation of this geological wonder. As volcanic rocks formed below, sedimentary rocks filled the basin above, trapping the hydrothermal fluids and concentrating their flow into the breccia complex. 
This cap of sedimentary rock acted as a lid on a simmering pot, keeping the metal rich fluids contained and forcing them into the fractured rock below. The interaction between the sedimentary basin, the magmatic processes of the Hiltabar Suite, and the volcanic activity of the Gawler Range created the perfect environment for metals to accumulate. The basin added another layer of complexity to the Olympic Dam, contributing to the deposit's rich geochemical diversity. IOCG deposits, which are iron oxide copper gold deposits, are a unique class of mineral deposits characterised by their abundant iron oxides, such as hematite or magnetite, and the presence of significant quantities of copper, gold and occasionally other metals like silver and cobalt. They are typically formed by hydrothermal fluids that concentrate metals in brecciated zones or faulted structures, often in tectonically active regions. The Olympic Dam deposit in South Australia is one of the largest IOCG deposits globally, and what makes it especially unique is the unusually high concentration of uranium. While uranium is not typically a major component of most IOCG systems, in Olympic Dam it occurs in substantial amounts making it the largest known single uranium deposit in the world. The presence of uranium alongside copper and gold is particularly remarkable because it suggests a complex interplay of geological processes, including hydrothermal fluid interactions with uranium-rich rocks, which is rarely seen on such a massive scale in IOCG-type systems, making Olympic Dam the world's largest known uranium deposit. These unseen rivers of fluid did more than carry metals, they altered the rock itself, transforming it into a rich geological tapestry, painted in hues of hematite and magnetite. The sheer scale of mineralization at Olympic Dam is nothing short of breathtaking. Imagine a deposit that contains 30 million tonnes of copper, 1 million tonnes of uranium, 1,100 tonnes of gold, and 6,800 tonnes of silver. These numbers are staggering, placing Olympic Dam among the largest and most valuable mineral deposits on our planet. But this mineral wealth is not evenly distributed, instead the metals are concentrated in different zones, telling a story of fluctuating temperatures, pressures and fluid chemistries. In the central parts of the Breccia complex, copper and uranium reign supreme, while gold and silver are more abundant in the outer zones, reflecting the changing conditions of their formation. The Olympic Dam tells a story of volcanic eruptions, tectonic rifts and unseen rivers of metal-rich fluids that shape the world we live in today. It is a window into Earth's ancient past, a glimpse of the dynamic processes that continue to shape our planet. As we stand on the surface, gazing out over the remote deserts of South Australia, it is almost impossible to imagine the forces at work beneath our feet. But Olympic Dam reminds us that the Earth is alive, constantly evolving, and that its treasures, like the metals hidden in this deposit, are the result of billions of years of natural artistry. I hope you found this topic as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching.